Hey, Erica here with ePartners Marketing. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your own presentation inside of Canva. And I think that this is available to both Canva for Work and Canva Pro. But I do have Canva Pro, so there are some features like adding my own fonts and using the brand kit and maybe different layouts that I can use that you have to upgrade to use if you're using Canva, free Canva. So let me share my screen really fast. So first thing you wanna do on Canva, up at the search box, I just typed in presentation and all the different templates pop up, which is pretty awesome. They have some great ways, great templates to choose from. And then you can decide for your brand or whatever the goal is with your presentation, which one you wanna choose. And you can also look at it and think to yourself, okay, well, what pictures am I trying to use or what videos am I trying to use in the presentation? And you can use the one that's best for you. Now, the cool feature about the new you know, setup is I picked a, this layout right here, but then when you come in here, you can actually choose different layouts for pages. Like let's say I wanna use a different layout for this page. When you go up, on the left side to templates, you can actually change the pages. So you can mix and match pages. That's pretty cool. I think it's cool. So let's say I just want to add a different type of page for just this slide. I can click on, oh, so I can click on recently used templates. And then I can choose a particular page from that template. So I don't want it to be black and white, it's too boring. But um, I'll X that off and I'll just choose from a completely different template. So creative presentation, I'll choose that. And this is the one I'm using right now. So let's use a different one. And so instead of these double pictures, let's say I just want to use one picture, but I want it to be, you know, kind of artistic like that. So to make it match with everything else, I'll just go up to whatever this tone of pink is. And it's okay to mix and match. You want to kind of have varying slides. That way your audience doesn't get bored. So F6. Whatever, whatever. So you just copy and paste that color code, come up here. I mean, you can select it there too, but see it changes it. And then I'm using, I'm changing all this red to black so that the viewers can actually see it. So then you just want to go in and change all that. I wish there was a quick way to do this. <laughs> but there isn't at the moment that I know of. And make it black. And then if you say, well, no, I actually want to use the other one, I'll show you how you can change it back. Just a second. And then that can stay like, this part can stay the white and stuff, but this is black. I can actually put this text back white to make it more like interesting. So let's say I'm like, okay, I don't like this actually. You can go back to the video a bunch of times. And voila, it's back. But now if you want it back the other way, you can do it the other way. So it's kind of cool. You can undo each way. And let's say you want to delete a page. How you would delete a page is you select that particular page, make sure on that particular page, and then you can delete. And then if you want to undo that, just up to this arrow right here, undo. And then if you want to see how the presentation looks all together, on the bottom right, where you see the four little boxes, click that. And you can see all the different pages in your presentation together. I think this is cool because it reminds me of um, PowerPoint and just like you saw it kind of dragged it. You can drag and drop them.
uh -oh. malfunctioning right now. But I'll show you different way you can rearrange them too. If you're running into an issue just like I am where it's not letting you drag and drop, you can X out and then when you see the arrows, you can rearrange just like that. And I don't think the presentations have a limit. I think the PDFs have a limit of 20, or not 20, it was like 100 pages or something, and then you have to combine the files with another program. But um, yeah, so that's basically how you, you know, make a presentation, delete slides, how to add a slide, um, or so you can actually copy slides if you wanted to, to copy this and use it somewhere else. Just click this button right here, copy page, delete that. You can also, so to change the font, you just wanna click on the font, highlight it, go up to the font option. So I've actually uploaded fonts and I want to change them to my brand font. But you know, it just depends on the presentation. So that's how you would change the font. To change the pictures, you want to click on the picture, go to upload, and then drag and drop whichever picture you like. So I'm giving a presentation about IGTV. So just for this example. So the thing is with these templates, sometimes they don't have the frame. So you want to go to elements, grid, make it smaller. And it's not going to be a perfect matchup. <laughs> I don't know why with the layout, with the layout sometimes this is not a perfect matchup. But anyway, picture, then you're going to say position backward, and then you're going to delete the picture on top. And then now this is what's going to happen. If you have this box selected, go to upload, then you can drag and drop. Like that. So that's how you change pictures. Um, to add links if you wanted to, you would click in here and then when you see this button that says link, that's how you would do that. Um, but yeah, that's how you make a presentation. You can play with the text as much as you want until heart's content and then that's it. That's how you make a presentation. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any comments below. Um, and if you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. Bye.